Didn't know she was here. Look, Frank, I swear to you, I had no Chase, idea. You might as well tell Get me. Get dressed! No! You don't have to yell. I should have you arrested. She is just a kid. Look, Frank, this is not what it looks like. Yeah? Explain this note. I picked it up by mistake at the hospital. Waiting for love in the afternoon. Lark. Frank. She set me up. Look, Devlin is not going to get away with kicking you out of the program. I missed the already. You're going to be working for me. Come on, what am I? Like a chopped gallbladder? Eve, you do not deserve this. It's not right. We're going to go to Devlin. No. There's no sense in all three of us getting kicked out, okay? Just do something for me. All right. You name it. Succeed. In spite of Devlin. Do that for me, okay? If there's anything else, you just tell me what I can do. Yeah, just watch your back. So I'm going to tell you, sitting through that lecture tomorrow is going to be agony. Well, I'm not going to miss any of those. Well, you see, there's an upside to everything. <sighs> Excuse me. There's something I forgot to do. Eve, tough lesson, and I truly hope you learned something from it. I'm going to find out why you did this to me. Wait, wait, no, 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 don't try to blame this on me. You got caught stealing hospital research. I'm only interested in trying to protect the hospital from unethical behavior, and that's all there is to it. Oh, that is not all there is to it. You wouldn't waste your precious time going after me unless there was something bigger at stake. I didn't do anything wrong. You're a liar as well as a thief. Well, I learned from the master. Lesson's over. You're out of the program. Thanks to you. You know what? If I were you, I'd try to redirect your energy, because if I recall correctly, you're still facing criminal breaking and entering charges. Don't threaten me. You cannot be a doctor and a convicted felon at the same time. Think about it, Eve. All those dreams gone forever, because you never learned to keep your hands off something that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> <laughs> Now I can file criminal assault charges against you. What was that? That, that was the most disgusting book ever written. Oh, still reading General Homicide. It is horrible and disgusting. Well, if you hate it so much, why are you still reading it? Because, because I need to find out every single gory detail because my character, Nancy Cole, dies at the nurse's ball. Oh, sounds dramatic. Sounds sick to me. <laughs> Lucy, it's just a book. No, it, it's garbage. That's what it is, and it has Rex Stanton written all over it. Wait a minute, you don't have any proof that Rex Stanton wrote this book? Look at the author's name. Well, let's look at that, shall we? Anamanun, Anamanun, whatever it is, it's obviously a pen name. I know Rex is behind this doc, and I'm not going to let him get away with this. I'm going to, I'm going to... I'm going to sue him for libel. You know, I hate to tell you this, but not everything that happens in this town is, is because of Rex Stanton. Rex Stanton did this, and I'm going to make him pay. How are you going to do that? Civil court? That'll take years. Well, I don't care. Well, think of the bad publicity. <laughs> bad publicity? I don't think that publicity could get much worse than this. Wait a minute. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on this right now. I'm going to call Scott, and I'm going to have him get a court date. I'm going to go to trial right now on this. Lucy. Lucy, put the phone down. I wrote this book. I, I don't really believe this, Doc. How could, how could you write that piece of... Crap, garbage, <laughs> literary tripe? Yes. I, I mean, you must really and truly hate me. You, you made that character Nancy the town joke. You're not Nancy. Well, we certainly have a lot of things in common. How in the world could you do this to me? When you were living in the hotel and then moved in with Rex, I was up every night worried crazy about what could happen to you. 
So I started to write my feelings down. It was like a sounding board or a punching bag. <laughs> I never thought I could get it published. Well, I can certainly see why. You really hate it. I hated every single word of that. You loved it before you thought Nancy was loosely based on you. L loosely based. Loosely based. Now, wait a minute. There are some flattering passages. Here, mm. page 123. She appeared first in silhouette, voluptuous yet willowy. As she moved closer, the light defined her features. The finely set eyes, perfect nose, and playful mouth. Kenneth wanted her to come to him slowly, and, as if reading his mind, she did. Well, that's just so darn special. Here's more. Page 125. Kenneth marveled. How could he be worthy, not only of her extraordinary beauty, but her quick wit and intoxicating passion? Nancy was a miracle. The only person Kenneth could truly say he loved more than himself. I love you, Lucy. This was never intended to hurt you. You know, what really hurts is the fact you didn't let me in on this. I had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. My publisher thinks she can hype sales if it's published anonymously. Why couldn't you just tell me, then? Well, don't take this the wrong way, Lucy, but since when can you keep a secret? I can keep a secret. Like about my paintings? I didn't want anyone knowing about my paintings, and you knew that. I didn't even want anyone knowing that I could think of things like that. But before the paint was dry, you got them hanging all over the outback. Well, you know what? This is, this is completely different because people actually liked your paintings. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning? They're not going to like your book. Well, I guess it's a good thing that no one will ever know that I wrote it. No one except me, and perhaps... Uh, 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 uh. There is no and here, Lucy. And maybe a close friend like Scott. No, no, especially not Scott. You're saying nobody. Nobody. Zero. Zip. Zilch. No one. Promise me. <sighs> I promise. You won't be filing any assault charges, Devlin. I'm not mistaken, Baldwin. That's my call. Well, I'll say that you started it. <laughs> what you have is people who lie for you. My sincerest wish is that I never set eyes on you again. And if you have any sense of self-preservation at all, you will stay out of this hospital. Is that clear? No, oh, she will be, because she's going to be too busy working for me, beating you to the punch. You can bet on that. Hey, I'll put a hundred bucks on Baldwin's team. Keep your nose out of this, Ramsey. Why? What have I got to lose? You already gave me a lousy evaluation for sleeping with your wife. You can't even stand to see your own daughter succeed. And as for Eve, well, there are plenty of reasons why you would do her in. You want to join your former colleague? No, I suggest you shut up. You're just a vindictive bully. And your insubordination's gonna land you on the unemployment line. If I were you, I would watch your step, doctor. Wow. Who would have thought you'd be such a stand-up guy? Only compared to Devlin. I thought you wanted me out of the picture. I want the court of main Eve. But what he did to you was completely unfair, and I just might hate the guy as much as you do. Did you write this? So? So? So you set me up. The nurse at the hospital said somebody was mixing up the messages. Did you put that in my box on purpose? Of course not. He's just saying that because we got busted. Frank, Frank, the truth. All right, I was dating her, but I had no idea she was underage. Oh, please, Jake knew how old I was, but he didn't care. That's a lie. All right, she told me her name was Chloe, that she was a Chloe? pre med student at PCU. Chloe was his idea. As soon as I found out that she was underage, I stopped seeing her. Frank, this never should have happened. But it did. And you enjoyed every minute. Remember that night we spent together? All right, Lark, that's enough. How long have you known about this? A couple of days. Why didn't you come to me? You, you told me the claw you left town. Frank, I know. I know that I should have come to you first. I, just, I felt terrible about this. I... 
I can't believe I was so stupid, so stupid to get involved with a kid. You didn't act like I was a kid when we were in bed. I'm the one that's stupid. I should have never gotten involved with you in the first uh, place. All right, this is going nowhere. Let's go, we're going home. Frank, come on. Frank, listen to me, Frank. I didn't touch you when I knew she was underage. Frank, it's over. It's not going to happen again, Frank.